In this tutorial, we're going to make a wave animation that looks something like this. We're going to use curve objects or Bezier curve objects to make this wave effect and a wave modifier and some simple lighting and material work. So let's go ahead and start a new file and general. In our default view here, we have a default cube and we're going to hit delete on that and we're going to hit delete on our lamp. We're going to hit shift A and add a Bezier curve object. Hit seven on your number pad and scroll down. Hit tab and click this left vertice right here. Hit R to rotate and hit G to rotate in increments. Left click to apply. And we're going to extrude our wave object here with one extra vertice like this. So E to extrude and then hit tab to go out of edit mode. We'll just um, rotate our view here so we can see it better. And we're going to go to our data tab here for the, the Bezier curve object. And on the right side here we have geometry. So let's open that and extrude our our uh, curve object here to have some geometry added to it. And we're going to go back into edit mode, hit tab, select everything with A and control T and we'll just rotate this so it's flat on its side. So now it's laying flat on the floor as you can see. Hit tab again and then we're going to scroll down here and bevel our object just a little bit and then We'll fill in the, the holes here with fill caps so we have a full on mesh as a curve object and then we're going to add our wave effect. So this is done in the modifiers tab. Hit the wrench icon, hit add modifier and we're going to go to deform and wave. Hit wave and before we play this animation make sure you have set your output frame rate to be the desired frame rate you want. So the parameters we're going to change will be different depending on your target frame rate in your settings. So make sure you have set this beforehand. Okay, let's hit spacebar to play our animation. So this is the very basic waving object. Uh, and we go to uh, back to the wrench icon here and we can go to time and decrease the speed of it all the way down to zero zero one now it's very slow moving and that's what we want we also want the animation to start a bit earlier on frame zero so or frame one so i'll just pull this back to about 30 something now you can see that our our wave is starting at frame it's already began at at frame one that's what we want. So minus 92 is the number I, I ended up with here. If we scroll in here, you can see we have this kind of not perfectly smooth wave yet. So we have to increase the resolution of our curve object. Let's go back to curve, the data panel, and increase the resolution to 32. Okay, so we have our wave object and it's fine, but we want an array of them. We want more waves. Let's go ahead and add an array modifier, hit the wrench icon, click the add modifier button and go to generate array. Scroll down to you to see it run here and we're going to hit zero on factor X. We're going to hit one on the Y axis and we're going to pull it down ever so slightly on the Z axis. And then we're going to add in as many as you like, but I'm going to add in six arrays of this wave. And then I'm going to look at my side view, hitting three on my number pad, R, and just rotate this ever so slightly. So we have this trail effect going upwards, but with a downwards step array. So let's move our camera. Uh, the quickest way to do this is just to position your viewport camera, uh, not, this, not this camera, but just the, the one that you look at your objects with, and then hit Control Alt, zero on your number pad. Then the camera will snap to the view of the viewport. Let's go ahead and duplicate our views. Click and drag the top right corner until you see a separate window. 
release it and then on the right side here we can we can have the camera view here let's just hide a couple of things here so this is the viewport gizmos as it says we can hide this just make this view more cleaner i hit set on my keyboard and hit rendered so i can see this scene here in the fully render view let's go back to our left side here we can we can scale this we can we can adjust these windows however we like and then i'll hit i'll orbit out of my camera view and i'll add a light because this is a very dark scene right now hit shift a go on down to light area light i'm going to increase i'm going to just move it up slightly hit s to scale and i'm going to increase the power of the light to be around 30 32 something watts then i'm going to hit 7 and just move our light to the desired position i'm also going to readjust my camera to be a bit closer on my scene so i'm just looking at it from a 7 numpad 7 view that's the top view i'm going to hit g on my keyboard and just move the camera to the waves something like this and then maybe we'll have to move this camera a bit upwards so hit g and z to move it on the z axis next up let's add some materials to this click the waves hit your material tab right here hit new go to the base color and just adjust the um, waves to the color of your liking so i'm going to choose a light blue for this and i'm going to also hold down shift and right click behind the waves and add a background plane shift a and i'm going to add a mesh and a, and a plane an rx and 90 while having that selected and s to scale it scale it so it's big enough to to cover this whole frame here and i'm going to we already set a material to the waves i'm going to click my my background and uh, choose the material material that i already set this is the desired end result of this tutorial when you're happy with your animation go into your output settings and choose between various types of rendering options and when you're finished with your encoding settings right over here hit render and hit render animation and you're done so that concludes this tutorial thanks for watching